Rock and Gem Dig sets. One from National Geographic and one from Smithsonian. For the first one, we are going to do my favorite Smithsonian, of course. And then next we're going to do the National Geographic one. Before we get into this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to Jay Glenn and JFam Games, and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check out www.jfanbrand.com to buy cool merch like this and like this. Let's get into it. So this one is called the Rock and Gem Dig Kit from Smithsonian. What does it say on the box? Excavate gemstones and minerals, identify gemstones and minerals, learn how rocks and minerals are formed, and it includes a 23 inch by 17 inch color poster, which is right here. There's something else. There. There's something else in here, so you might have to open it from the other side. Oh, this just, this looks just like the dino dig one. Yeah. Uh, oh god. I'm just thinking we should get a, like, a real hammer, because this is not it. This includes one sand block containing 11 real gemstones, minerals or rocks, one mallet, one dowel, one pair of goggles, one streak plate, one magnifying glass, one pouch, and color poster with instructions. By the way guys, I got these other goggles from the last experiment video we did, the science video. So James is gonna wear those and I'll wear the new ones. Ah, here's the pouch. There it is. Pretty cool. Let's start by opening up the poster. Smithsonian always has some awesome posters. Look at that. Pretty freaking cool. They have information on the poster. They show information about the uh, different types of rocks and how they form. There's there's gonna be a picture right here with the uh, different rocks. Pause to read. So I believe the poster shows a tiger's eye gemstone. That, there we go. And the instructions are on the back. Let's start digging. Of course, get my safety goggles on and see if they... No, these don't fit over my glasses. Perfect. Okay. Ouch! Ow. Already an injury. Jeez. Here, do you want to hold that? Okay, guys. Ow. Did I hit you? Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Be very careful when working with this. Yes, because I accidentally hit James. And I accidentally hit myself. Okay, so we got a little bit of progress. I'm thinking we should get the real hammer because... This will take you a couple, maybe six or seven hours. Yeah, exactly. So if you have a real hammer at home, please use that. Please do this under supervision by an adult. You're going to hurt yourself either way. True. The dowel is breaking. I kid you not. Look at that. The dowel is breaking. Oh my. We're gonna get the hammer, guys. One moment. All right, guys, I'm back with a real hammer, so. Woo! Oh my. Oh, I found something. I found something in this one. We have to be very, very careful. So maybe this. you can use the hammer to break it up a little bit and then start using this to chisel it down. Yeah. As it looks like we're outside, so I think that's a good plan. Yeah, no, this is not gonna... Do we have water or something? Does it say to use water? Yeah, we did not read these directions. Yeah, use a bowl of water to rinse the remaining sand from it. There's literally no rock in this. There's just a little bit of purple, and that's it. Now there's nothing there. I see some purple in here and breaking up the rock or the sand in here. Again, Ugh. please do this outside when you're yes. doing the Smithsonian kit. Are there even any rocks in here? I don't think there's a rock in here either. I threw it on the ground and there's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing. This is like the like a whole half set. Guys, this is a whole half section or something. Almost half. Yes. And there's no rock. There's nothing. There's nothing in any of these. So this is the this is all the rock we found so far. Yeah, just that whatever that purple stuff is. Look, we found it. This is all the rock so far. Uh oh, I found him. Oh, 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 I found him. I found him. Oh, look at that. Wow. So they must be on the other half, huh? Here are the rocks. Oh, Crystal's my gems. God. Wow, look at this. Oh, these are pretty. We found the rocks. You're going to have to them. I can't tell. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I found another. Look at that. Got a tiny one. 
tiny green rock. Wow, these are really nice. So then I wonder. There's eleven, that... by the way. Remember that. There's eleven, guys. We I think... may have smashed a rock accidentally. <laughs> a few moments later. Out of... oh, 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 oh. Rinse them out, rinse them out. Oh no, I, I keep losing the rocks. Ah, here we go. And then this one. Oh, look at that. Out. And then we got this. Let's see how many we found. We found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We found oh, all eleven. No hidden ones? Uh, maybe that purple mush. Yeah, I don't know what that purple was, but I feel like, you know, that's that's a that's very possible that we smashed one of the rocks by accident. Let's let's identify them. Yes, for the rock identification, we are going to be using this app called Rock Identifier. Here we are, we're in the app. It says, what type of rock is this tap here? It's quartz. Okay, so what we're going to do is take a picture and it says that this is red jasper. It identifies the rock as red jasper. It gives a description of the rock and its origin, uh, physical properties, and chemical properties. We identified the jasper. Now let's identify this. This is also red jasper. Gives a whole bunch of, ooh, this is pretty. And now let's identify this. So this one is a gate type of chow, chalcedony? Yeah, I don't really know how to pronounce these. It's interesting. And we're going to identify this. This is quartz. Uh, this is called dragon blood, which is a type of jasper. Then we have this one here. Oh, another another thing of quartz. Another rock of quartz. And then let's identify this green one here. Av Aventurine. Aventurine, I guess? Probably. Um, this is another type of quartz. And this is quartz again. Another type of quartz. Okay. Lots of Yellow quartz. Yellow jasper. Let's get this other green. This is another aventurine. And one more small rock to identify. Green moss agate. This is a type of agate. Okay. Well, that's nice. And then, once you have identified all of your rocks, what can you do? Put it in that little pouch. There it is. All right, guys, now we're going to clean all this up here, and then we're going to get ready to do the National Geographic set. So let's get into it. All right, guys, we cleaned up from the Smithsonian, except for this sand part right here. I couldn't really get that off the table. But we are now going to tackle the National Geographic Break Open Two Geodes set. Discover crystal treasure inside. So the box is using an actual hammer to break open the geode. Look what we have. We have an actual hammer to break open the geode. Also, just in case, we have a bowl of water. I don't, I, don't, I don't really know what to expect. I never really buy anything from National Geographic. So we're just gonna see what happens. Oh, it comes with an instruction manual. It says National Geographic Geode Instructions. It says Geode Instructions that tells you how to crack open a geode. And it says you can use a hammer and chisel method or the sock method. It gives you information about geodes and how they're formed. They have a comparison in here from geodes versus nodules. They tell you about concretions and septarians. And they show hot spots for geodes, how do you find geodes, types of geodes. Then they show the different types of rocks. Then they have a little thing in the back here where you can write down your notes. And that's the end of the instruction manual. So two premium quality geodes, one pair of safety goggles, one learning guide, one magnifying glass, and one display stand. And that yeah, so they're really doing it up. Okay, so we can break one each. We can break one geode each. So let's put these out. Which one do you want to get into first? Put on the safety goggles, by the way. I'll say you wear these, because uh, I think these will be able to fit over my glasses. Oh, perfect, they do. Oh, okay, well that's a plus. Yes. Thank you, National Geographic, for making these kinds of safety goggles that can fit over people's glasses. Especially since these ones hurt. They do? Yes. I'm gonna open up this. There's a magnifying glass and the display stand. Does this one work? Oh, this one really does work. Which one do you want to break open? It doesn't matter. It's in this order. Okay. First, I'm gonna break open this geode here. 
Oh, this is hard. Wait, what did they say to do? Hammer and chisel method. To open a geode with the hammer and chisel, score the geode all the way around the circumference, uh, a circumference line like the equator with the flat face chisel. Be very careful not to strike the chisel too hard with the hammer. Oh, you need a chisel. Oh my god. Okay. They, it, okay, so this did not come with the chisel. We're gonna do did the not. hammer and chisel method. I, I don't know why this didn't come with the chisel, even though they put the instructions for the hammer and chisel method in this. Well, let's uh, go get it. I'm back with the chisel. We had to use the chisel from Smithsonian because the National Geographic set did not come with one. So this one is slowly breaking. Yeah, this is not budging. Let's use the hammer. <gasps> there we go, there's a crack. Yeah, we made a crack. Not too hard. Thank God I'm wearing these safety goggles. Yes. Because little pieces are flying everywhere. <laughs> May, I think we got, no, we got something. <gasps> oh, we we broke. We just Okay, that's this. Oh, okay. Yay! <laughs> I'm not sure what they thought was going to happen. I, I honestly don't know what they thought was going to happen. I mean, what we think huh? Try open it. Open this. Huh? It's not. That's like barely anything. Some here. This is. What? What is this? This is... What did they think was going to happen with this? They don't include a hammer and chisel. We had to use the one from Smithsonian, which as you can see, it's broken. This, what is this? I don't know. Let's just move on to the next one. Okay. Because that was kind of pointless. This looks like a stuffed clam. Here, this time it's Jacob's turn to break it. What if all of a sudden the table just breaks? That's what I'm thinking. I just realized. <laughs> Can we even like, get this one open? How about we do this one on the ground? Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna do this on the ground. This is sketching me out. Okay, ground view. It's putting little white marks in the ground. Oh my god. These guys are these guys are doing so well until we actually got to using it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, that method didn't work. Not like the sand block that we done. What are we supposed to do? I'm gonna hit this as hard as I possibly can. <laughs> that barely even made a dent! Oh, well, I'm kinda getting somewhere. Right there. Just crack this thing open. <laughs> All right. <gasps> there we go. Oh. Wait, is it open? Oh, look, this is like the best one. <gasps> this is the best one we Wait, got. Wait, let That is the best one we got. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Jeez. That is epic. Oh, well, that was that, guys. Okay, guys, so now we are going to identify the rocks using the Rock Identifier app. So we're going to take a picture. We're going to take a picture of this one. And it looks like this one is calcite. And then it shows different options of what it could be, but I'm gonna go with the first one because it looks a lot like the first one. So this one, I believe we can identify that as calcite. And then this one here, we're going to identify this one. And this one is a type of magnesite. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the first one on this one as well, magnesite, and call that a day. Okay guys, so now we are going to go over what we score the science kit, the score we gave for each of the science kits. So we're gonna do Smithsonian first, and then we're gonna do National Geographic. So the category that we're going to go over first is fun. So I actually really enjoyed this set. I think that the rocks should have been more spread out in the sand block rather than just put right smack in the middle. I also agree with that, but once you started to see the rocks, it was like, wow. Yeah, it so. was really exciting at that point. So for so, fun, we give it a 7 out of 10. The next category is easiness. For easiness, I would say that this set wasn't too easy with the materials that were given to us. We were just given a small wooden chisel and mallet. We were just given a very small chisel and mallet. So it was hard to break into the sand block and we had to get an actual hammer to break into the sand block and get the rocks out. What, what did you think about it? Well, it was, it was definitely a little bit easy. It's kind of straightforward. You know, even though we had that, it's still pretty straightforward where you just kind of try to break it open and get the rocks, clean them off, so. Yeah. For that, we give it a four out of 10. Next category is cleanliness. Okay, so for cleanliness, I wouldn't say this set is the cleanest set. Then again, what science kit is really clean? 
Like, I, probably except for anything where you have to build a robot or something mechanical. Yeah, unless you're working with mechanics, science kits are not going to be clean. Not in a classroom you should do this. Maybe you should do this outside of the classroom, but yes. if you do it outdoors, maybe you use a towel or something. Right. And you have everything Same you need to... Home everything to wash it off yeah. and... I mean, this could be done in a science lab. Yeah. If, if it's just like your regular classroom with the chairs and desks, I wouldn't do that. Go to a science lab to do this, and if you're doing it at home, I would definitely suggest doing this outside because powder is gonna get everywhere, all over the table. That's that's what happened to us. So for cleanliness, we give it a... Two out of ten. The next category is quality. The quality of the set was just... I loved it. It was great. It promised us gems and rocks, and it gave us gems and rocks. I agree. <laughs> it was a pretty remarkable experience, I gotta say. It was, it was a, a very nice quality set. It gave you exactly what you want. We give this a... 10 out of 10. The next category is loot score, which is, you know, the kinds of goodies that they give you, the amount, the quality of those right. goodies. The Smithsonian one gave us this uh, this little pouch with the rocks inside that you get to keep. They gave you and, a poster too. Yep, they give you a nice poster that you can hang up in your room. I have a collection of posters from different science kits, and, um, which I can show at the end of this. And video. obviously, you get the you get the rocks and gems too. Right. Uh, one thing is is that we don't like the goggles. Yeah. You can't put them over your glasses and right. they, they hurt a little bit. Yeah, so. that, yeah. For this, we give it a 9 out of 10. And our total score for Smithsonian is a 6 out of 10. Now we can move on to our score for the National Geographic, what we rate that. And our first category is fun. This set was, you know, it was okay. There wasn't as much to it as a Smithsonian one, but I guess, I guess it was okay trying to break open the geode. It wasn't the most enjoyable experience ever, but I, I would probably do it again if I had the option to. For fun, we rated it a... 5 out of 10. The next category is easiness. So... This was not easy. No, uh... <laughs> And definitely, if kids want to do this, it's going to be... It's going to be hard. Pretty difficult, yeah. Right. For some reason, so they give us different methods to crack open the geodes. None of them really work. Right, but you see, the thing is, we tried the hammer and chisel method. There was no hammer or chisel included in the set. So for them to tell us to do that without actually providing it is a little bit weird. And plus, we, even when we got our own hammer and chisel, it broke the chisel. Right. We had to use the one from Smithsonian, from this Smithsonian set. So that wasn't very good. For easiness, we give it a... Two out of 10. The next category is cleanliness. Uh, this set, this set was kind of clean. It was cleaner than the Smithsonian one, I would say. Uh, but then again, what science kit is gonna be clean unless we're working with mechanics? Again, I mean, if you do this outside, Which really. Which is probably best. Uh, I would not recommend doing it on a table, unless it's like a plastic table, maybe. Um, but I would definitely recommend trying to break it open on concrete. So go outside on the sidewalk, on your patio, in the school parking lot if you're doing this at school. I would say get an actual hammer and let, let the kids take turns trying to break open the geodes. So the cleanliness score is... 4 out of 10. The next category is quality. So I actually really liked this set. It gave us um, really, really beautiful rocks. The crystals, they are really nice and thankfully they were identifiable. I think I liked the second crystal better because it had more detail to it. It was really shiny and it wasn't it wasn't as generic as the first one that we did. Um, we liked the uh, calcite better. And the goggles were really oh, yeah. nice. Yes, uh, we, also, we also really liked the goggles and we liked that there was a display stand. The display stand was a little bit small for such big geodes, but overall I really liked it. So for quality, we give this one a 8 out of 10. Now we're going to score loot. I, I really liked the geodes that were given to us. They were really, really shiny and they were identifiable, like I said before. But even though we did get what they said they would give us, you know, they didn't really give us any posters or stickers or anything like that. No, right. no little loot bags. They only gave us one little display stand. Right, Not and an instructor manual. Not even two for both the geos. Right. So for the loot score, we give it a... 7 out of 10. Our total score for Smithsonian is a 6 out of 10. And our total for National Geographic is 5 out of 10. So Smithsonian is the winner. Of course, Smithsonian always wins. Sorry, National Geographic. Sorry. <laughs> this is the best one here. Okay, guys, we are now going to end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this, subscribe to Jade Glenn and subscribe to Jade Fam Games. Leave a like on this video, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Bye!
Oh. Also, don't forget to check out www.jfanbrand.com to buy really cool merch like this. Have a great day, a great month, a great year, and a great life. If it's your birthday in this video, happy, happy birthday. birthday. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. And as promised, at the end of the video, let's show my science posters. Heck yeah.